welcome to another episode of Vibes Link Up, where we link with dancehall lovers from all over the world. Joining me today is Anna Vanille. Here's a quick clip to see what she can do. Hello, Anna Vanille. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Thanks. It's good to have you with us today. I've been following your career for quite some time now. Um, is it what well, um over twelve years in dancehall industry, right? Yes. And over that time, you have put in a lot of work. That's what I can say. What's What's your first experience with dancehall? My very first experience in dancehall was uh, in Italy, which is my country and for the Italian Dancehall Queen contest, because this was my approach to dancehall. I knew dancehall from the female part first, and I, I felt in love uh, immediately. So I start uh, do competition, <laughs> and then after a few months, I went to Jamaica, and I understand how much things are behind the dance. So. Yeah, I felt in love uh, totally in the time I went in Jamaica, and it was 2007, 2008. Yeah, so the first time you tried doing dance or um, dance moves, or, or were you? <laughs> the first time? <laughs> well, the first time I didn't know what I was doing. I can tell you, <laughs> honestly, um, I was just following the music and what my body was saying to me, but I didn't know about all the things and the culture behind that. So, um, yeah, I was just dancing without thinking too much, but I realized very soon that everything is connected in Jamaica. Dancing, music, you have to follow certain lyrics. So, um, yeah, at the beginning it was very different, you know? <laughs> I would love to see that. <laughs> <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> but let's talk about your trips that you you you, you do that you, you i know you plan trips to jamaica and you you give a tour on the culture and dance scenes let's talk a little bit about that sure i create this trip in jamaica for people in europe but then uh, also people from russia start to join my trip and that's because um, when I personally go in Jamaica, I try to, uh, to, to go deep. So, yeah, of course, I do dance classes, I go party, but I travel around the island too to see the real Jamaica. So one day I said, I want to share this with people because it's a beautiful thing to share and also people need to learn, need a guide. Uh, need someone who can tell them, okay, this is the party, this is how you should move. Um, so six years ago, and maybe more now, seven maybe, I started this trip uh, and I bring the people in Jamaica, Kingston uh, as a base, so we can go to the most popular party, we can meet a lot of dancers. And then uh, we also have some little trip like can be Ocho Rios, uh, Portland, uh, Mobay, any, any place, you know, where they can find uh, beachside, nature, but still dancing because not every dancer is in Kingston. We have so many good dancers in the country too. So, yeah, that's what I'm when I try to do and people love it. Absolutely. And you also do a lot of events in Italy, right? Dance all events. What are some of the events that you do? 
A lot. I did a lot. I start. I think I was one of the first, if not the first, in Italy with my ex crew in 2010 mm -hmm. uh, to start to organize dancehall event. And with this, I mean also bringing Jamaicans in Europe, because yes, we can have a lot of good teachers in Europe, Russia, all over the world. But you know, when you have a Jamaican, you're gonna have a different imprinting in the dance. So it, it's essential for us. And we start in 2010. Uh, every year, at least one or two events. But then, since uh, six years now, uh, I'm focused on the woman in dance soul. So I create a concept called Queens on Top, which is inspired to the regional international dance soul queen contest in Jamaica. Um, and this is in a lot of countries now. So it's not only about competition, of course, it's about share more culture information as possible through dancing workshops, parties, lectures, uh, screening of documentaries, can be anything. And it's all about female. So the teachers are females, the judge of the competition too. And, you know, we can show to the woman how they can be versatile in dance soul. So it's not just about shaking if they want, they can do literally everything. And this helps the woman to empower themselves. And then uh, one of the goal is for sure uh, make the Jamaican woman travel. Because in these past years, we could see a lot of uh, men travel in the world, but few women compare, comparing with them. So this female event can give an opportunity to them to travel more and have a tour. And I'm very happy about that, as you can see. <laughs> Who knows me knows that I, I, I truly do this with, a, with passion and with a purpose. So um, do you have any events going on right now? <laughs> right now with the quarantine, we are checking to see what we can do. Because actually we have every year in November, the final of Queens on Top. So just to give you an idea, we have around 13, 14 countries in the world, including Korea, Japan, uh, Russia, Israel, Mexico. <laughs> and every November we do a big final with all the winners from this country. So this is supposed to be the next event, but we're still waiting to know uh, what the government of each country decide to do. Because if we can't travel, of course, we can't invite people, we can't bring Jamaicans. So um, let's see if it's not in November, for sure, it's going to be in 2021. <laughs> okay. I know you're doing the dancing classes online now, though, because I've seen you, you, you're doing a dance. How does one get, um, get connected to that if somebody wanted to join your classes? Sure, just contact me. I have different options uh, for, for people because I can offer just body training because I do a lot of exercise to keep my body fit. <laughs> so the girls can join me or dance classes about male style or female style. And also we do a project, a cultural project it's every Friday with my crew, Schengen Squad, and we speak about culture and dancing. So we go deep in every meaning of the move, explaining the creators, the ears, and trying uh, to make to the foreigners understand more about what happened in these years in their soul. We, we can share with people who is interested. Apart from Italy and Jamaica, which country is your favorite country to dance in? Oh, wow, which question? <laughs> no one asked me this before, you know? <laughs> about the dancing, mm, okay, I can say about the dancehall queen style, in particular, so female style and craziness, I love Poland. Poland. In Poland, I see the craziest thing. When I do the dancehall queen in Poland, I'm always shocked, trust me, they can always surprise me. <laughs> Uh, but in general, I love also as in uh, Russia or Ukraine, they take it serious. Like 
they are them machines. They take dance all seriously. <laughs> and I love this discipline, you know, because can make people grow fast. Uh, at the same time, I love the, the vibes in Italy or Spain, because these two countries are very similar. Uh, people is so... Uh, warm and passionate so sometimes it reminds me the Jamaican vibes a little bit mm. every country has a particularity and something uh, you know very very different <laughs> but nice what's, what's the greatest achievement in dance so far for me yes for you for sure, the, when I compete in the International Dance Hall Queen in Montego Bay in 2014, and the fact that I reached on the podium, I reached third, and the first two, they were from Jamaica, so Dance Hall Queen Danger, first place, and Dance Hall Queen Jiggy Balance from, uh, from Obey, second place. Uh, it was the biggest thing for me, because it's... Uh, Rarely a foreigner reach the podium, and I'm I'm agree to I'm agree because this is something born in Jamaica, and the, the the first the second prize they give a lot of money, so I think this opportunity born from Jamaica for Jamaicans and still should be you know to help Jamaican girls. So I reached third, and for me was wow. The biggest thing ever. <laughs> Trust me, I was so happy. I know that you're very good at balancing. You're infamous for that. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. So for this last few questions, I'm gonna need you to answer them on your on top of your head. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna accept the challenge. Okay, let me prepare. See my cat is watching me as usual. <laughs> Okay, my friends. Let me try to do that. You see me? Yes, I see you. Yeah. I'm ready. Ready? All right, All right let's go. Your worst memory of dance hall. Oh, my worst memory. Uh, I think it was in Holland where I was doing a uh, a workshop and you know the, the promoter leave us completely alone at home without food without nothing <laughs> you know we found a way to enjoy the experience anyway but it was a hard moment I know you do a lot of music videos with a lot of big name artists which one was the most fun you ever had oh my god the most funny probably the video with spice the genie, genie video, uh, it was so funny yeah, because, one. yeah, you remember? <laughs> I was with my friends, uh, my Italian friend Aurora, and also other Jamaican uh, friends like Dancing Rebel and TC. It was very funny because when we were dancing, everyone else was cheering and was screaming for us. <laughs> So it was really, really funny. We enjoyed the experience and we laughed a lot. Your favorite dance move? Well, you actually are seeing my favorite dance move <laughs> is the head top for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, but I love every every female moves uh, that you know make me feel strong. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Top five favorite dancer artists? Favorite dancer artists: Cartel for sure. Mm -hmm. Mini Man, Elephant Man, well, Bounty Killer, <laughs> and yeah, from the um, young, I like Govana, I mean, not so young, but yeah. uh, right now, right now, yeah, Spice, Shenzia. Were you afraid the first time you visit Jamaica? I was, yes. I was because I didn't know what to expect and I didn't know if people in Jamaica was accepting me. Okay. Have you ever fallen off your head while balancing? <laughs> yes, of course I did. Because no one can, can learn head top without falling. So, yes, I did. <laughs> Show us a, a nice dance move before you get off your head. A nice dance move? On my head? Yeah. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it was a pleasure to have you. So much fun. for me. Thank you so much for having me. Do you have anything you want to say to the viewers before you go? <laughs> Thanks to you. Thanks to all who is watching. We love dancer. Dancer, love you too. <laughs>